Hi, welcome to the Miller Centre. I'm Jay. And I'm Lucinda. And we're both members of the Miller Centre Theatre Company, an amateur theatre group that puts on up to 10 full-length productions every year here in this building. And we'd love to show you inside and give you a glimpse of this fabulous theatre where we have the privilege of performing. But first, we'd like to clear up a few questions about the building itself. Most people, when they see the building for the first time, mistake it for a church. Or a school because it was in fact a church and a school until the mid-1970s, when it was purchased by a visionary couple, Michael and Christine Pilch, and converted into a community hub and theatre for the people of Caterham and the surrounding areas. Anyway, we'd like to take you around the inside of this theatre. So, okay. see you in a bit. I'll see you on stage in a bit. How does she do that? again. I've just come through the backstage door and I'm about to go into the dressing rooms. Over the other side of the car park is our studio building where we rehearse in the evenings. During the day it's used for all sorts of daytime activities by our Miller Centre Club and it's also where our young players meet. Also in that building is our furniture and prop store, our amazing wardrobe department and the workshop where the sets are built. But more on those later. Let's go into the dressing room. This is our main dressing room where the actors will prepare themselves for the performance whilst the audience are filling up the theatre. Jay? Me again? Right. This is the main public area of the theatre, which on a set-up night can get very busy. Here, our patrons can relax with a drink from the bar and meet their friends before the show. And when the auditorium is open, theatre goers will make their way to these doors ready to sit down and enjoy the show. And whilst the audience are taking their seats, the actors are making their way onto the stage. This is the stage left route, through the scene dock and through backstage, past the stage manager's desk, and onto the stage. If you look closely, you can see evidence of our revolving stage, which is approximately five and a half metres across. It's a really useful feature to have, given that we don't have the height to fly scenery at all. It's not being used for this set, however, which is for the Beauty Queen of Lenane, the play that was about to open when the country went into lockdown. And this is the view of the stage. It seats 186 in proscenium format, like it is now. And we can also reconfigure it to different layouts. And by moving the seats onto the stage and to the sides, we can do in the round. Or we can use the stage and the floor here for what we call arena style. If you look at photos of our past productions on our website, you can see examples of all three. Hello again. Hi. So, you've seen the public area, a bit of backstage, and the auditorium itself. But of course, it takes a lot more than that to get a production to the stage. We'll be going into that in more detail in a further series of videos, where we'll be talking to the people who run the backstage and technical departments. But to give you a taster, they include our incredible wardrobe department, which includes not just one, not two, but three floors of costumes. Our always overcrowded furniture store. The very full and superbly organised prop store. A well-equipped set building workshop. And the control room, which houses our computerised lighting and sound control systems. Thank you for exploring this lovely theatre with us, and hopefully it won't be too long until these seats are full again. If you'd like to find out more, or even join us backstage or on stage, you can contact us via the website, or you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And Instagram now. No. Bye! Bye.